Chapter 8 The Most Haunted Lasagna As the table rose higher and higher, so did my scream. I tried to move, but it took me a few long seconds to make my legs work. Then, just like before, I ran from the room. And just like before, I opened the front door. And yes, just like before, Desmond Cole was standing there. This time, I didn't slam into him, which was a good thing because he was carrying some weird gadget. It made a whirring noise and it had blinking lights. I was shaking too much to talk, but Desmond had a huge smile on his face. I knew it! he exclaimed. You brought a ghost with you, didn't you? He was so excited, he didn't even wait for me to invite him inside. He just pushed past me and ran into my house. What are you talking about? I asked. Me bring a ghost? A ghost? Desmond ran into the den and looked around. Well, if you didn't bring it, then you're one lucky guy. Lucky? I said. Okay, this kid was bonkers. Yeah, Desmond smiled as he waved his machine around. Don't you get it? You're living in a haunted house. My heart stopped. A haunted what? Stop asking so many questions, Desmond said, walking through the den, pointing his gadget at the walls and the sofa and the TV. Don't tell me you've never heard of a haunted house. I've heard of them, I said, but I don't want to live in one. Can you do something about it? Of course, Desmond said. You move to the haunted house next door to the right kid. Desmond's gadget was ma making louder and louder beeps as he moved closer to the kitchen. I followed behind him, far behind him. Whoa, he exclaimed, stepping into the room. Did your table always fly like that? I shook my head. Not usually. But good, Desmond said, because that would be really weird, but also kind of cool. He didn't look scared at all. In fact, he looked like this was the most fun he'd ever had. Desmond jumped up and grabbed one of the legs of the table and pulled it back down to the floor. We were face to face with the lasagna. To be honest, it still looked really delicious. You didn't actually eat that, right? Desmond asked. Not me. I mentioned. I motioned to the bathrooms. My parents did, and Desmond shook his head and gagged a little. Say no more. Then without warning, the lasagna lifted out of the dish and floated above the table. I ducked behind Desmond and whimpered, A haunted lasagna? Now I've seen everything. But I hadn't seen everything, because when I looked again, the lasagna wasn't floating by itself. No, a ghost appeared out of thin air, and it was holding the lasagna in its ghostly hands. It sniffed the food with its ghostly nose and then gobbled the whole thing up with its ghostly mouth. This is not good, whispered Desmond. This is not good at all. Suddenly, the ghost turned green, puffed out its ghostly cheeks, and let out a loud, wet, disgusting burp. It was gross. If you've ever smelled a ghost burp, Consider yourself lucky. Ew, I moaned. The ghost puffed its ghostly cheeks again, but before it could burp again, Desmond yelled, Run! And that's exactly what we did.